Today on the program, we salute a man who has made Nigeria proud when talking about art. He has taken young hands under his wings and taught them to fly. Are you wondering what I'm talking about? You'll get my drift in a moment. A warm welcome to Art House. I'm Melinda Akinwami. An artist has only his dreams. He has no power. He's a master at churning out new techniques and styles. I remember once he did a painting and wanted to know what people saw when they looked at it. I can't forget that experience because everyone saw a marketplace, but he saw a woman. A typical example of an artist that lets his imagination run wild. <laughs> Within the walls of this building in Yaba, Lagos, Southwest Nigeria, lives a talent. A craftsman who has blessed others with his knowledge of the canvas. Hey, hello. You are welcome. You are welcome. Wow. Ah, nice to see you. Nice wow. to see you. Veteran artist nice Kolade Oshinowo welcomes us into his galleries at home. Well, this is where this is where I am. Paintings grace the walls, and spillovers wait for their turn. Right, you can follow. So you are welcome upstairs. Way to my studio and see where the work is done. Kolade Oshino has been in the art game for many years, but did he start out as one? I discovered the gifts of creativity very early. I was able to make up my mind quite early in which direction I would like to go. You know, I worked in the bank as a bank clerk after my O-levels. But it didn't uh, hold any attraction for me. You know, the longer I stayed in the bank, the, the more I was convinced that um, it wasn't my career choice. Mm -hmm. He delves into his experience as an artist and how this has shaped his life. It was sheer determination and perseverance. Art wasn't a popular, it wasn't a popular, you know, choice um, back then. In fact, if your parents, you know, should catch you drawing, you could get a knock on the head. You know, because I mean, what are you doing? You know, when well, you should be doing something else. You know, and um, uh, the, the society was focused on other professions. And of course, my, my father belonged to, <laughs> to that group that believed that uh, you have to be an engineer, you have to be uh, a medical doctor, uh, you have to be a lawyer, you know. So 
when you are swimming against the tide, you definitely uh, need a lot of strength. You need a lot of you know, strength of character. You need a lot of determination. You need a lot of focus. Because you know that failure shouldn't be in your lexicon. <laughs> because it will be like, look at you. Have we not told you, you know? So the battle has been to make a success of the choice. The, the enthusiasm, you know, that goes along with creativity uh, was sufficient enough to sustain, you know, the desire and to let other people see that one meant business. I remember that um, even in the art school, I had classmates who wouldn't want people to know that they were art students. They were disguise, you know, and I felt that, um, you know, that, that, that's wrong. You know, I want to be seen with my sketch pad, I want to be seen with my drawing board, I want to be seen drawing, you know, um, because that is what, you know, I have chosen to do. This, this is an open market. It's a more open market uh, with lots and lots of activities, you know, buying and selling. There are umbrellas, there are loads on the heads, you know, and so on. Uh, but then, um, is the story about the market woman, you know? is the portrait of the market woman, uh, which is embedded you know, in the market scene. So I want, I want the viewer to see the market. And then on closer look, you know, see the portrait of the market woman. On the style of painting and choice of women as his major subject, Oshinawa sees both as every mind for itself. There are other themes that I have painted over time, you know. Oh, yes, you know, um, I doubt if there is any artist, living or dead, who has not, you know, used, you know, the female forms in one way or the other. I, I doubt it. You know, some go to the extreme of even doing, you know, nude paintings and so on. Um, but I think that, that, is, uh, that is part of the profession. Um, I have always said that sometimes I focus on women because of so many reasons. Number one, you know, um, the beauty and the grace, you know, the endowment that nature bestowed on the, on the woman uh, is so different from that of the man. Um, when, when the woman is gorgeously dressed, you can compare it with when a man is dressed, you know. Uh, I doubt if uh, you spend so much time uh, to dress up uh, <laughs> for an occasion. Whereas uh, for the woman, you know, uh, the head tie alone, I'm always fascinated by the head ties. A man wouldn't tie <laughs> a head tie. But a woman, and the head tie is a big deal. It's a big, big deal, you know. Um, you just see that the woman has refused to come out, you know, and she's battling with the head tie, you know. And then, of course, there are accessories 
to be put on, you know, and so on and so forth. And um, no, the women look very gorgeous. On the other side, the, the responsibilities, you know, that weighs on the woman in terms of, in terms of matrimony, in terms of motherhood, you know, the pains that the woman goes through, the different moods are so different from that of the man. Um, yes, um, I've, I focus on that sometimes, you know, of motherhood, because um, I, I, I think it's, it's, um, it's an you know, important aspect of humanity. You know, because you see a woman selling her wares in the market, you know, at the same time paying attention to maybe two or three children, you know, and then this same woman gets home and still have, must uh, take care of the family, you know, um, matrimonial obligations and all that. He also dreamed of a time where government policies will stand behind the arts. I think we are still suffering from, you know, that insensitivity to the arts. We are, we are, we are still, we are not there yet. Remember when some people stole Monet's painting from the Louvre? Yes. The whole of Paris was virtually shut down because everybody connected with the paint with that painting. You know, it, it, it just was unbelievable that in broad daylight, a group of daring young men would go to a place like that and steal a painting. Of course, it became the painting became so hot for them that you know they knew they made a mistake. Mm -hmm. And then, there are the moments where the creative flow gets disrupted. Assuming if it was darker and you don't have this light, I can't see anything. For the younger generation who may be a little too eager to cut corners with the help of technology, listen to a word of caution from someone who knows this industry. There are artists out there, younger ones, um, who are doing it right. I was at an exhibition um, over the weekend, and um, it was actually very revealing because it was like three generations of artists were standing together. You know, um, somebody that I taught in the Yava <laughs> Tech also was a teacher to the person who was exhibiting. You know, and I suddenly. I suddenly felt very old, <laughs> you know. So what I'm saying is that um, there are those who are doing it right. There are those who, who have the professional discipline. There are those who have imbibed the culture, you know, of, 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 serious professional attitude. You are not likely to catch them um, cutting corners, you know, but we have to be honest. We live in a very hostile environment to the arts, you know, and a lot of these younger ones out there are actually seriously challenged financially, you know. Um, 
So there is that temptation to want to go desperate. You know, I, I just try to counsel them that, um, you see, the artist who paint to sell doesn't sell. When I make that statement, uh, it's like they melt. And I say it is true. Until you have done works that you don't feel like selling, you have not started. Is there anything recent the artist is working on? That's 2016. That's why he's, he's, still, he's still on the wall. And of course, this is uh, the current one, you know, that is uh, that is being done. Um, like I said, this is the process. This is the process. A lot goes on during this process. You know, changes are made. That's why I like painting. I can decide to change, you know, on, as the painting evolves, I, I change, I erase this, I add that, you know, and it allows me the freedom. That's what's in store for 2016. Brush, paint, thought process. A lifetime of work and dedication to train many others to be even better than him. For this and his many other achievements, Kolade Oshinawa has certainly written his name in gold. Coming up on Art House, we still have so much more where that came from. You definitely won't want to miss any of it, so don't go anywhere. A multi-talented artist will achieve international acclaim with major exhibitions in Europe, Asia, and the United States of America. His works of art are now in museums and private collections around the world, including the Smithsonian Institution and the Philadelphia Museum.